Hey Lee Tribe, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get more exposure from Pinterest. And as many of you know, Pinterest has been very, very helpful for my brand where I post content and t-shirts that are all centered around one brand. And I believe if you're going to use Pinterest and get the maximum benefit from it, it's better to use it like that. So you set up a business account and everything you post is centered to that audience. And even Pinterest says and recommends that you use it like this as well. It seems that the algorithm favors you when you do that, especially if your content is getting clicks and getting saves and that kind of thing. So for the last 30 days, as you guys can see, um, my account has been doing very well. So how did I get such an increase in 30 days? Honestly, it, it just came from using my account again. So over the holidays, December and most of November, I didn't use my account hardly at all because I was on break. So when January started, I began actively sharing my images and posting images again. And I do believe that's a reason for the large increase in my you know engagement. And in terms of does Pinterest bring sales, in case you wanna know, yes it does. I did a video last year where I showed my Google Analytics account and I showed that this does bring me t-shirt sales. One thing you need to know about Pinterest is that it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. Pinterest is just another tool to help you build brand authority, just like you would do with Twitter or Instagram or YouTube. And it can really help you down the line. And it's worth it because there's no other site out there that's gonna give you long-term exposure the way that Pinterest does. Now, if you're wondering why and when I created this account, I created this account in summer 2018. I think it was June 2018. I had been selling in a particular keyword that I discovered on Merch by Amazon, and I decided to just focus on that one niche and set up a POD shop. And so I created this account just to promote the designs for that shop. And so this engagement that you see here is mostly for the t-shirt designs that I have created and promoted on Pinterest. So how do you know what's a post on Pinterest? This is where a lot of newbies struggle. Pinterest publishes this article every December, and it's basically the top 100 trending topics on Pinterest. So it gives you great insight of what people are liking and engaging with on Pinterest.com. So they determine the top 100 trends by examining the global search volume from the previous two years. And then they take the topics that have the most significant search volumes that are consistent and have upward growth. I want to use the finding balance section as the example for this video. So let's say you have a website that empowers single women and you're looking for ways to monetize that website. Maybe you're going to do some t-shirts for single women. One of the ways you can draw attention to your Pinterest account is by posting quotes, inspirational quotes for single women. Quotes in a lot of different spaces are always very popular on Pinterest. If I click through to here and, and click embrace being single, you're gonna see a bunch of very simple quotes. And these very, very simple images get tons of engagement on Pinterest. I found this myself. I don't only just post t-shirt designs. I often post quotes just to get the algorithm to fall in love with my account. See, there's a game that you play here with Pinterest. Everybody always focuses on, well, how many sales are you getting? Yes, Pinterest will bring you sales, especially once your account gets active. But the key with Pinterest is to build up engagement and activity to your account so your images will rank better over time. You want the algorithm to love your account. One of the ways to do that is to post quotes because quotes get clicks, they get engagement, they get repins. So if you're new to Pinterest and you don't know what to do, focus on learning what types of content gets you engagement. So one of the things you could do is you could go to canva.com. They have a bunch of poster templates, which I think work really well with quotes. So all you do is just scroll through, you click a template, and then you can click inside to edit the text. You can remove elements that you don't want by just clicking and hit delete. You can pretty much customize this entire template to your liking. And so what I have done is I have found keywords that are popular in my niche by just using the Pinterest autocomplete. I created a board called Keyword in my niche space quotes, because I know quotes are so popular. So I created a branded template like this in Canva with my website on it. And it doesn't look like this, but this is just an example. And so I literally have just been posting quotes that are relevant to my niche. So if you have this single women website, you could set up a board on Pinterest called empowering quotes for single women. 
and just post a bunch of quotes. I would use something with bright colors because I think bright colors definitely get more visibility in the search engine because you got to remember Pinterest is just a search engine. So the more visible your images are, the more they're going to be seen, the more they're going to be noticed. It's all about getting that engagement. What's going to make people see my image? What's going to make people click? So imagine having a board with a bunch of quotes that are branded like this. That's one thing you can try and see if that works. Then once you start getting engagement, you can start testing. Oh, what if I start posting some t-shirt designs, blah, blah, blah. So this is how you start. Remember your goal in the beginning is just to get engagement. You got to figure out what makes people click in your space, in your niche. Here's another section that caught my attention on this top 100 list, the pampered pets. It is such a thing. So let's say you have a Chihuahua website and your website is targeted to Chihuahua owners. Okay. And you're trying to think of how can I use Pinterest to promote my website or sell my t-shirts? If I were in this space, I would create a board on Pinterest called pampered pet t-shirts, for example. Okay. And I would create a bunch of t-shirt designs revolving around pampered pets. So for example, it might be a shirt that says mom of a spoiled chihuahua. Okay. And so I post images and mock-ups of all my t-shirts on my Pinterest board. So that's an example of something that I would do. Pinterest is telling you that people are engaging with content centered around pampered pets. We're not guessing here. We're using data to make educated decisions. There's so much data here. That's so useful for so many different things. And this is what I want to encourage you guys to use it for, but just by studying the different topics that are trending, you can get ideas for what to name your boards on Pinterest. You can get ideas for t-shirt designs. If you're a t-shirt seller, if you're looking for niches to research for merch by Amazon or Redbubble or wherever you're uploading, you can also use this for that. Because if people are engaging with this type of content on Pinterest, they're probably engaging in this type of content on other websites as well. So this is a wonderful article, you guys, lots of good information in here. And to be truthful, you guys, for some of you, Pinterest just might not work for your niche and that's okay. But at least you can use this website now and be smarter about the things that you try and test. So everything that you're doing, at least there's some data behind it. So you're not just throwing spaghetti at a wall and seeing if it sticks. So the thing I want everybody to realize about Pinterest is that it's a marathon, not a sprint. You might see slow goings in the beginning and you might go, why am I doing this? But I can't tell you guys how many times I've had people actually contact me on my website because I do have a simple like landing page for my brand right now. It's not hardly any content on it, but I've had people that have found me on Pinterest and they typed in the same dot com name. That's why it's always important to use the same name on Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. So they went to my website and found me and said, Hey, I found your images on Pinterest. And I was wondering if you do custom work because I need you to create something for me. I ended up making 500 bucks on some design work for this lady that wanted a custom design because she found me on Pinterest. And so people are always like, well, are you getting sales? Sometimes you have to look at the long-term brand benefit of having a social presence for Instagram or Pinterest or whatever. Not everything is about, well, how quickly can I get a sale? There are long-term brand benefits of being on sites like Pinterest. And it may seem slow in the beginning, but the long-term benefits and traffic are definitely worth it. So I plan to do more videos on Pinterest this year, especially on how to pin and more specific examples of things that I learn. But I really wanted to do this video because I feel that it'll help a lot of you who aren't really sure about what to do on Pinterest yet. At least this article gives you ideas of what you can test with. Good luck.